This program is rated TV14 by MKT Ratings and contains some content which younger viewers may not find suitable. Viewer discretion is advised. The following is a TBE original. Nearly two years have passed since the threat of world destruction was extinguished by Sam and his friends. In the months following the conclusion of Season 1, Future Sam disappeared from existence, only to reappear as the game showed Blogger before the negative fanbase finally gave in and he focused on his personal life. Owen stepped away from Logo Blooper's duties to focus on family relations. Meanwhile, Microsoft Sam was released from jail, as the charges against him for the murder of Radar Overseer Scotty were dropped. With the Slap Hobby universe having no new threats, the gang decided to head over to Thunderbirds 501's universe for the very first time, to start a brand new season of DVD Logo Bloopers. The gang set up shop at Thunderbirds 501 Studios, with the addition of Guy 2, the second incarnation of Guy the Shield Guy, along with Twilight Sparkle, who has been given a redesigned look and a more realistic voice. And with that, we now join the gang for the season 2 premiere. Well, I sure am glad we finally got ourselves a new place to begin our new season of DVD Load of Bloopers. Me too, but don't you feel like you miss being in the old Slap Hoppy universe? I've been through enough crazy shit in that universe. I mean, come on, first we get Dark Sam stealing the air requests, then we've got people getting brainwashed, and then Evil Sam drives to destroy the world. That's fucked up beyond all doubt. I have to agree with you, Sam. The Slap Hoppy universe was chaotic from the start. Well, at least we've got a new place that is nowhere near as chaotic. Alright, that's enough talk about the Slap Hoppy universe. Now, we need to get our shit together and start a whole new season of DVD Load of Bloopers. I'm ready to get this started if you are, Sam. Well then, places everyone. Roll camera, cue logo. Holy crap. Did you see that, Mary? I sure did, Mike. That Xbox logo blew up in a massive explosion. That only happens if you insert an Xbox disc into a DVD player. Nostalgic. But in more serious terms, this is not what I was expecting. What I was expecting was a complete DVD logo with no additions. I'll see what I can do. World. They held the syndication rights to those popular game shows known as Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy before it got incorporated into CBS television distribution. Still better than most programs these days. Now it's Umex. I have never heard such a name like Umex before. Me neither, but if there's Umex, there's probably a Mimex as well. Ha 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 ha. I just hope I'm not pissing off Sam with all these random logos and shit. What? Me? Pissed? Why would I be pissed? 
Back in episode 5, you got angry and murdered Scotty for fucking up the logo one too many times. The only reason why I did that is because I was frustrated and beyond tired of him fucking up the DVD logo. I remember it like it was yesterday. Not no third fucking damn it. Scotty, this is your last chance. Give me the DVD logo. Now. He's a boss, Scotty, Sam. That did it. Scotty, this is it. You're done for. Now that I think of it, I shouldn't have done what I did. You're right, Sam. Stabbing my boyfriend was the last thing I wanted you to do to my Scotty. Pardon the interruption, but can we get back to doing the DVD logo? My apologies, guy. Let's get back to work. Lightstorm Entertainment. Founded in 1990 by that well-known filmmaker known as James Cameron. Best known for handling production on Terminator 2, Titanic, and Avatar. Guy, I need to talk to you for a moment. Oh shit. I think I might have done one too many slip-ups. If you're thinking you can put Castle Rock Entertainment in here, well, you are looking at the wrong load of blooper series. Well, I'm sorry. It's people like you who are fucking me up so damn much. Get. Me. The. Fucking. D. V. D. Logo. Or. You. Will. Be. Fucked. Big. Time. Calm down. Sam. It's best just to leave him alone. So you wonder. This is not the place to run those old Sesame Street tapes. Well, you serve Sam right for being such a total baby. Shit. In the many years I've been a part of Logo Bloopers, I have not seen Sam lash out like that at all. Speak for yourself. Sam going nuts like that is just, wow. Believe me, it had to be done. I'm sorry for what I called you. Well, okay. It's just that things like calling me names really tend to get on my nerves. Anyway, let's get back to work. KET, the Kentucky Network. Public television for the state of Kentucky. Operated by the Kentucky Authority for Educational Television. Colombo. It looks like we're in Brazil all of a sudden. Next thing you know, we will be in Argentina. Ha 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 ha. B.T. Parkett Films, 
What, have we suddenly landed in the middle of fucking Indonesia or something? Sorry. I got a little foreign with that last cake. Well, that also explains the Red Deed Lava logo. Holy shit, that was the most beautiful logo I have ever seen, oh my god, yes, that was just fucking epic, so epic that I am going to- I swear to fucking god, Sam, if you go on a sugar rush like Taylor does, when he is on fucking Mountain Dew then we are shutting this video down immediately. You're right, Mike. Besides, I don't want this video series to lose its quality. Glad you cooled off, Sam. Otherwise I would have resorted to drastic measures. Me thinks I used yet again. I nearly sent Sam into a sugar rush. No need to get upset over the least little things. Well said, Twilight. I'm in the mood for another shot at it. Sapphire Corporation. Founded by the same person who launched Sculptured Software. Oh shit. I fucked up again. I know I should be yelled at. Don't worry, guy. After I almost went crazy over that Tele Monte Carlo logo, I'm not going to do that again. Since it is nearly noon, let's break for some lunch. I don't know how to, but I'm glad we're back doing DVD logo bloopers again. Me too. I thought this series would not be back for a second season, especially after future Sam quit. I was worried too. But hey, at least Twilight sparkles with us now. Yep, yeah, at least she's here with us now. Anyway, no more chit-chat. Let's head out for some lunch. <laughs>